Rod Laver Bjorn Borg semifinal provides the Dallas crowd with the most breathtaking tennis since the Laver Rosewall final in 72, which experts refer to as the greatest tennis match ever. Borg is possibly the best 18 year old who ever have played the game, and he's facing maybe the best player in the history of tennis. At 36, Rod is exactly twice Bjorn's age. Fans have never seen such a variety of heart-stopping touch shots mixed with powerful drives down the lines and tricky top spins. The incredible running and retrieving of the young Swede proves a powerful weapon against the shot-making artistry of the rocket. The seesaw first set with a total of eight service breaks saw Borg outlast Laver in the WCT 13-point tiebreaker. Laver storms back to take the second set, 6-3, however, and we pick up action at 6-5 in the third. Borg is serving at deuce. Net cord lifts the ball over Bjorn's racket, and he's facing Bing down two sets to one to Rod Laver. <laughs> Borg misses an easy put away. Perhaps the bad break in the last point interrupted the youngster's concentration. If it did, it didn't last long. In set four, we find Laver serving to hold off Borg's second consecutive service break. has jumped to a commanding 5-2 lead in this must-win set for him, but falls behind in the next game at 15-30. A great winner by Labor, who goes on to break back. He holds his serve in the next game, and Borg is now serving a deuce, ahead 5-4. Great angle, and Labor can tie the set. possible winner by the incomparable Rocket brings the Dallas crowd to their feet. He's come back from a 2-5 deficit to tie the set and with the momentum in his favor is in a good position to win the match right now. Unshaken though, Borg breaks back and we rejoin action with Bjorn serving for the set at Deuce. Another top spin winner by Rod who needs this point to force the tiebreaker. Labor's done it. If he wins the tiebreaker, he's once again in the finals of the one he has yet to win. The appreciative fans can't get over this match, which has already gone well beyond three hours. Again, Borg, who can become absolutely devastating under pressure, jumps to a commanding 6-2 lead in this all-important tiebreaker. Labor serving with his back to the wall. So after three and a half hours of hard-fought tennis, it all goes down to the fifth and final set. The spectators at Moody Coliseum are wondering if the daring all-out game of young Bjorn will overcome the years of experience behind Rod Laver. The fifth set is all Borg, and we find Laver behind 2-5, just two points from defeat. Out. So with double match point, Bjorn Borg is approaching one of the brightest victories in his astounding career. 
Pride of Sweden's done it. And on this night, when they both played spectacular tennis, he outlasted the great Rod Laver. For the second year in a row, the teenager's in the finals. He must wonder if Laver will be back next year at 37 to challenge him once again.